Welcome to the VMAs. How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling great. Uh, you know, uh, I got an earache. I don't know why, uh, truthfully. Oh my Is it the nerves? Uh, maybe. It could be a little bit of that. I feel good. I feel like a wrapped gift. I like playing dress up, so it's okay. Yeah. You're nominated for a push performance tonight. How exciting is that? And and how meaningful is this nomination for you? I mean, it's just a, it's such a joy, honestly. I mean, I'm such a fan of music at heart, and I still am. You know, I don't think that there's ever going to be a time where I'm like, oh, I'm I'm the shit, and I'm I'm a big deal. You know, I think it's it's always so cool whenever I'm thought of in any way, you know, musically. And, and to be a part of one of music's biggest nights is, is just super sweet. It's just great. And also be nominated is incredible because now you just get to sit next to cool folks who I get to chat with. So that's, that's neat. Yeah. I feel, like, I feel like you had the song of the summer. Everybody was using it. It was going viral. How was that experience? Did you ever expect that? And what was a highlight since that kind of moment happened in your life oh my gosh I mean obviously that song has had a tremendous lifelong you know thing and it's uh, I mean everything from Glastonbury you know highlight you know bleeding from that and Sophia's wedding you know and uh, gosh just like being able to buy my first home in Nashville like I've just it's just been such a huge blessing you know and, and now we're here, and like, what an exciting thing that is too, you know? Such an incredible trajectory. I did want to ask because everyone could not stop talking about Sophia Richie's wedding. Can you talk to me about how that collaboration between you two happened? Uh, it, it wasn't. It wasn't her. I was the surprise for her. So, so Sophia is first and foremost one of the loveliest women I've ever gotten to meet. She's so great, and uh, she uh, she loves the song, and you know Lucian Grange, you know uh, Elliot's father, who is a uh, you know, he, he is he is the Universal Music Group godfather. And so when he makes a request When he makes a request you say yes. And so and I did, but also getting the soundtrack uh, his uh, daughter in law's, you know, wedding is just that was a huge honor for me, so yeah. And very quickly I wanted to ask, uh, you have your new album coming out very soon. What can you tell us about it and the inspiration behind it? So the record itself was set back in the years 1958 through 1964, and it's highlighting the career of the troubadour Sanchez, who is a fictional, famous crooner uh, back in the day. And he falls in love with Evangeline, and Evangeline falls in love with him. But Evangeline is uh, dating a mobster, who then sets out to kill the two after uh, he finds out. So that's the whole record itself, and it's been inspired by the many big names like Roy Orbison, Elvis, Marty Robbins, and his storytelling artists like Lord Huron, who I've grown up listening to. And uh, it's going to be a really exciting time. September 22nd is 10 days away. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose my mind. What are you going to do to celebrate? Uh, I might go to dinner and just, like, have a little wine. Keep it simple, you know. I take a shower, go to sleep. Uh, hide under my blanket, you know, that, knowing it's out. So, well, more to celebrate tonight, I'm sure. Congratulations and have fun tonight. Thank you very much. Cheers.